Hey guys, Ben here, uh, again, and I'm back with part two of all of Subject 16 Glyphs, 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 Clusters 5 to 10. I will be showing you the last five to get for an achievement or trophy if you're on the PS3 or whatever you get if you're doing this on PC, even if they have this game for a PC. Maybe. I don't know. But if they do, that's cool. So anyway, first place you go to is... Uh, whatever I just showed you it's uh, like a cathedral not a cathedral mm. a big church it's, uh, it's, it starts with a, a P I think I don't know I should probably should have checked anyway it's the same setup as the last video I made so that should be easier but the only problem is I didn't really know what to call these places so I left it out of the bottom left and all it says now is the chessboard pieces but anyway yeah all you gotta do is follow what I do again and you should be set. You just pick that picture and they have this guy with a cross or something on his chest. And then, uh, sorry, th some of the clips uh, take a little bit longer because I had to uh, like think of what to do. And they got, they have two picture wheels, picture rotating things in this video. And they, they, they are a bitch. They, one took me 40 minutes and I recorded all 40 minutes of it and I failed at it. So I had to actually go on YouTube and just find an easiest way to do it because I could not figure it out. So, but there's that, and there's another one with like the Earth, which is a little, like the last one, and it's pretty rough too. But you'll eventually get it. So anyway, I forgot what that said, but it's right there. For this uh, phone, I believe you pick the top, the top two on the top row, the first two on the top row, and the first one on the second row, and that should be right. Let me check. Yeah, there you go. I was right. Aren't I always? So I'm. I hope you guys uh, liked my first video I made. I hope it helped. Cause uh, I hope it did because it would make me happy knowing I helped people. It's kind of the point of this. Anyway, whatever you did there, G1.3. There you go. All right. And uh, the quarantine zone. There's a few of them. I think there's three of them in this one. No, I thought that that little red thing that went around was. The direction of the next, the closest dot, but no, it's actually uh, your time, I guess. Whatever. This one is by uh, Claudia's Booker Place. The Siazi Fjorn, I don't know. Closa Fjorn, something like that. And it's right up here. If you go to exactly where I was, you should be standing on this rooftop. And easy way to make sure is right outside of that tunnel. Pretty easy to find. And you're going to have to want to go from the top. So I had to cut out my fall because I fail at it, and I even fail here because I'm just, uh, I don't know, I'm not a failure, but I make mistakes. Anyway, let's see, pick the pictures, I pick it, oh no, I made a mistake here, so I should tell you guys about this. Don't pick that building right there, the one I'm on, this one, don't pick it, don't do that. Pick the, the, the first one I have here with the guy with the white hard hat, that one with the boat and the river. This, those guys with the blue shirts and the firefighters. Pick that and you're going to want to pick that crane. I cut out the video, but don't pick that building. Pick the crane instead. That's a good choice right there. And for this picture, you want to go to the guy in the middle, go with his hand, and he has this uh, Templar ring or something like that. And the uh, same combination I put in. And uh, I hope you guys, uh, I'm not too fast. Well, if this is too fast, you guys can. Oh, it's just pause the video. Right? Because that makes sense. Like, why wouldn't you do that? Anyway, I don't know what that code said either, but it was something with a K in it. And for this chess piece, you want to move B1 to C3. Which is, there you go. You move that knight there. There you go. And let's see what's moved on. Cluster. This uh, robot chick, no, not really. I guess she would be a robot. Right there, she just spoke. She is the, she is really creepy. And, and if you uh, if you go back because you can't do one or something, and you go back and try and uh, wow, what's the word I'm looking for? You can you can leave the, the little mini game and go back to it afterwards, and she'll be she'll sit there and she'll be like, I missed you, and it's she, the creepiest thing. But anyway, as you can see, it was up there. You have to, uh, e there's an easy way around it if you go up to the stairs to the left of where I just was and then you can free or free run your way around oh there is there's three images I think no no this is the first one the first image of the two that are uh, bitches to get 
I just gonna cut it out on my uh, playing around with this because I have 40 minutes of trying to figure that out. There, done. So yeah, good luck doing that. You'll need it. And this one, I don't know what I picked, so I'm just gonna look. There you go. You pick that one, the middle one, and the two right, the middle one and the right one on the bottom row. And there you go. Perfect. And for this just board, you go E1, 2, F2, which is, I, th I think that's, is that the king? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the king. Move the king onto the car. There you go. Easy way. Move the eyeball to the car. That's uh, pretty weird. Although online gaming attracts many people away from reality, make sure these virtual worlds do not become too utopian. We don't want people to question their own lack of success in the real world. Oh, failure. I can't even find the last stupid little red dot. It was right above me. And that, that guy, whatever you just said there, that video games take people away from reality, that is so true. Anyway, quarantine lifted. I am just so awesome at this game. Alright, so the next next one is uh, in the central district, somewhere at the top. It's uh, on a tower, so it's, it's... Yeah, those little two dark spots on the map, so it's obviously the towers. So if you go where I was, you'll be standing there right beside a bank. And there will be a horse beside you, and there will be a tree, and there will be all those pedestrians. There will be that horse. I, I promise you. And so, yeah, I'm not going to show you how to get in there. Every time I climb that tower, it's I've had to climb that tower a few times, and it's very confusing. Because like, you don't think you can... Some, some jumps from one side of the... Uh, the tower to the other, some of them will work and some of them don't. It's really weird. Yeah, I don't know what that demon asked, but those are the right pictures, so pick those. And for this one, you pick the, let's see, the left one and the right one for the first row. Second row, you pick the right one, and then go right to the fourth row and pick the right one. And there you go. I don't know if there's other combinations for figuring those out. I assume there is, but those are, that's what I did. So, this one. F1 to G2, which would be moving that, I believe that's a bishop. Yes, that's a bishop, I, I believe. Yeah, sure, let's call it that. So move that, that bishop to diagonally one space to the right. And name terms right there. Alright. I don't know why that guy talks. I, I don't know about anyone else, but when I'm doing these, I really don't care what they have to say. I really actually don't care about anything, I just I just kind of want the achievement, so I, I don't care. But some of you guys might care and actually want to listen, but I didn't, so I actually always skip them. Anyway, this is the last one, and this is in Ventisco District, that's the Castel San Angelo, and I made a video on how to climb to the top of it, so if you guys want to go check that out to get up there or something, it's not really at the top, it only, it only takes a couple minutes to get up there, but yeah, this is where you're going to be. And you, you climb up right over there on that other wall, and then you'll just run around to the left, and then climb up this building, and you'll run to the right, and as well be, jump across, and it's right below you, and you should be able to see it. So, there you go. And climb into that hole, if you know what I'm talking about, of course. Cluster 10, the final one. This one is, this earth picture with the uh, spiral things is a bitch too. This one didn't take me 40 minutes, but it took me a long time. And I also had to YouTube this one because I had no idea what to do. And uh, I actually I actually had to do this one again, and I recorded it because this is while I was following it along. So it's kind of going to be slow because I was following along with the guy on YouTube. And he did his pretty fast, so this is exactly what I did. He did, and I did it exactly the same. So if you guys want to check out... Like, the, just follow what I did, and I'll be the easiest way, because this was incredibly hard to do. Well, maybe not for some smart people, but I'm not that bright, so I couldn't figure it out on my own. Anyway, it should be on my, like, next turn, or next two spins. I'm not sure. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'm so smart. Alright, I don't know what that is. It's the Earth with, like, I don't know, wings or something. So, you're going to pick these buildings, the, uh, the Eiffel Tower, that building. I don't know. The, the Queen's building and those people. I don't know. It's not really the. It's not the Queen's building. It's. it's uh, I forget what that. I don't know what that place is called. Eh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this picture right here. It's got like it's all dark and it's almost gloomy, rainy kind of thing. 
and there will be an eagle in the sky. You want to find that and then click that. And I'll eventually get to it. Hey, right there, there I do. There's the eagle. And this coordinates, uh, I'll figure out sometime. 89, 5, 3, 3, 4, and I don't know, probably 20-something or something. I think it's 20 something. 21. Yeah, I was right. I'm a brilliant, smart person. Alright, this one may look hard, but it's not. You just pick the first one there, the middle one of that one, and then, and then it's, it's the third one for every other one. Pretty easy. Alright, what is up next? What do we have? We got the chessboard. Alright, now this one, easiest one, all you do is move the king, which is on space F2, anywhere that isn't on the board, as you can see. So you have to move it right there, exactly there, and that uh, assassin symbol will come up too. Uh, I guess maybe. Anyway, that's what you want to do. And this one right here is all it is is a whole bunch of red dots in a line. So I would suggest just starting at the edge, which is I will eventually get to right there, and start and just tap quickly, tap A, and just follow it. And you'll. I find when you're using this little circle, it's very confusing and very hard to. I don't know, control it because you'll just you'll move up and it will move up really fast and then you'll move slowly and then it'll move too slow so you move up a little bit hard. You'll push the like the controller a little bit harder up. That's what she said. No, that's horrible. What am I talking about? I, I take that back. Anyway. Uh and then there you go. Just keep tapping A. And you'll be done. And that's all there is to it. So if you guys wouldn't mind leaving a comment or a thumbs up telling me how I did, I would appreciate it. And there's my achievement for 20G. And thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.